always, thank you for watching. Uh, this call, I've been called to tow a dump truck that has apparently 15 ton of rock on it. Uh, I think we're about there. Yeah, there's something on the shoulder up here. At least we've got a decent line of sight. We're still going to put some cones out, though, being out here on the interstate, because you can't trust that they're going to uh, slow down or move over. long not too bad all right we got the pretty thick axle though don't we yeah all right let me get some cones set out people not paying a bit of attention Okay, I think. I mean, we could stand to go further back, but 
I want to use these here, give us a buffer zone work work area. Okay. That's all right. Watch it. Watch it. Y'all no, watch yourself. Oh, we got a wide load. Sir. I need to bring my truck back a little further. How far back do you need to be? As long as this is Underneath the bumper, I'm good. Then I can stretch out and get the axle. Gonna be tight. Yeah. Well, shoot. I might have to move it forward just to be able to get to my tie down chains and blocks. Do we have enough air to move it any?
All right, all I'm gonna do is angle my truck out a little bit. That way we've got better visibility on the side and that way I can get into my toolbox too. being out in the lane but I gotta get my dead gum chains. Yeah. Get it chained down and then I can uh, get back over out of the lane. in the world. Alright. Put my block up and then I'll get back in the on the shoulder instead of out in that lane. I don't like having my nose stuck out.
on the end of that muffler, I guess. There we go. Go ahead and get those other two before we lose all the air. These are the ones I like. Nice and easy to get to. Yeah. Not forward. <laughs> yeah, I may have to may have to rotate it because of that muffler. Ah. Alright, it's gonna move, but I'm making it move, so. I don't get smacked in the face. <laughs> Ride with me? Yeah, I will. Okay. They pick up your now nah, let's wait till we're ready to roll. Put a light bar on it and the safety chains, and we'll be good.
we have some pretty tight curves going in where we're at? No, it's not bad. Nope. Okay. All right. Now we can start picking up cones. Watch them, you got them too deep coming. Part of the problem with taking up the cones. And don't give you as much advanced warning. Watch your back, watch your back. Let's get off this road. Still got the load in it. You ain't, you ain't hurt. Well, she's heavy, isn't she? Yeah. You got a pretty good load. Difficult to uh, gain momentum going uphill. I know. 
Yeah, I kind of wish it. I tried to get it shut down back there where it was a little more flat. But oh, well. They break down where they break down, man. You can't help that. Now, this thing itself weighs 72, and then you said you were, what, 54? Yeah. You do the math. Yeah, it's, <laughs> that's a lot climbing up this hill, several pounds. What's this truck got in it for a motor? Uh, it's a Cummins. Does it? Yeah. We're, 550. We're uh, fixing to my boss down here. You heard of the hog farm going in outside of Morley? No, huh? They're putting in a big hog operation out there, like 5,500 sales at all times. What will be on there? And they got really? us the. Uh, hey, we're, we're farmers. And, right. Uh, I'm getting out of college this summer, and they gave us the contract to haul the pigs. So okay, we're ordering a truck, and I guess we're going to try that back car out. I didn't know if, if you had any experience with them or not. Uh, our single axle Pete has a pack R in it, uh, but it is a Cummins. Okay. It it even says Cummins. Our Cummins program will hook up to it. Now, from what I understand, some of the bigger pack R's are different. Yeah, that one we've got ordered, it'll, it'll have a 510 in it. It'll have, it's, I guess it's the biggest engine pack R build. So. Yeah. Uh, ours is basically an ISC yeah. Cummins. What ours is in that uh, single axle, it's a 339 feet. This is a 389. Yeah. That's a, no, I'm sorry, 337. 337, 339, whatever. Yeah. I get confused on the numbers, but it's the medium duty yeah. class. Uh, and it's got the basically ISC. I think they call it a uh, Pack R PX9. Yeah. Does that sound right? Yeah, that, that'd be the smaller one there. All right, where are we going? Take a the exit going to Benton. Yep. You'll turn left and go towards go toward Morley. Like, yeah. Well, yeah, you're going towards like Charles Center or whatnot. Oh, going okay. Yeah. Seventy-seven. Yeah. Okay. All right. Gotcha. And then you'll go past the trailer court. Yep. You'll hang a right on H Highway. Yep. Going toward the Bertrand. Yep. And then you'll uh, you'll turn the, the potato farm down there. It's right there on the corner of our county road there. Okay. It's, it's real easy to get to. Okay. Sorry, it took me a little while to hook up, but I I got a certain steps that I do every time to make yeah. sure that. Especially with it being an automatic, you know, I got definitely got to pull the transmission. Got to make sure the brakes are set or released. Uh, got to have lights. Yep. No, I, hell, I thought you did it quick. <laughs> yeah, thank you. This is the first time I've ever been a part of towing a truck or anything. I'm sure I'll get more of it driving over the road. But. Yeah. Did you go through Simo's Ag program? Yeah. Okay. You might know my daughter then. She graduated uh, last year, a year before. What was her name? Lauren Pratt. Well, Lauren Case Bolton, sorry. She's married now. Sounds familiar. Uh, she worked out the farm, SEMO farm. Yeah. And she, whenever she found out who I was coming after, she said, oh yeah, they used to stop out the farm. Uh, yeah. Wait our turn. Sometimes you catch this intersection just right, and sometimes yep. you sit and wait. Yeah, I'm gonna pull out just in case. Yeah, we worked a really bad one down here on the other side. Somebody was coming off the interstate and didn't stop. Yeah. Hit somebody that was coming, coming back across. Yeah. There where those two are. Yep. That's a bad spot. There seems like there's stuff going on there all the time. People just don't pay attention. I mean, uh -uh. Nope. Now see, I can't make this curve if I'm hauling a tractor trailer behind this truck. I got to go down to this fuel stop and turn, turn around. around. Yep. It's just too too sharp of a curve back. Yep. We had a, a mobile home coming across that way.
way trying to turn. He couldn't make it either. Yeah. We had to slide him sideways. The truck was up against the far side guard uh, guardrail, and the trailer was against the inside guardrail. He couldn't go anywhere. Huh. Couldn't go forward. Couldn't go back. He got himself jammed in there and kept wiggling around, so he just couldn't go. Yeah. I'm Ron, by the way. Matthew. Matthew, nice to meet you, nice sir. Me too. with the rock down here to the farm okay we're uh, trying to spread rock around so we can start building our wash bay for the hog operation right <laughs> yeah definitely gonna need that so now i guess we'll, we'll try to find out what's wrong with the, with the truck well do you need me to uh pick the bed and dump the rock or do you want to just wait and we'll just wait it, i don't think it's nothing major i mean uh, it could be out of fuel for all i know i don't why it would be, but I mean, I put 40 gallon in it before I left. I only made two trips. Wasn't thinking it'd be a problem. I thought maybe it gelled, but then you said the temperature wasn't that, that cold. Well, it says 35 now. It act, it's, it's acting to me like it's a it's some relay or sensor or something that's just not not telling it to throw fuel at it. Huh. Because when it died, I mean, it didn't it didn't sputter and spit like it was running out of fuel. I mean, it just died. Just quit. I was pulling that hill uh, right there before we was at. I had the crew set at 65 and got halfway up the hill, and all of a sudden, it just quit. I was like, what? That ain't good. I hit the brakes, released the crews, and played with the accelerator a little bit, and I couldn't get nothing out of it. It's like, huh. And it had just done that to me when I got on the interstate. But it leveled back out and started running fine. I mean, it, it, it's like it gave it power back, and I don't know what happened. We got up there, and it just sat there and idled until, while I was coasting. I got off the side of the road and hit the brakes as soon as it stopped at night. Huh. Yeah, with that Duramax, I really couldn't tell you. I'm not that familiar with it. I don't know nothing about Duramax. So I can work on a Cummins, but... Yeah, I'm more of a Cummins guy myself. They're just a whole lot easier. Oh yeah, I've been down this road a bunch. They didn't do the best job when they repaved it. Kind of, kind it's, of wavy. It's been repaved? Yeah. <laughs> like uh, last summer, late last summer. I'm gonna say, because I've towed several fire trucks back across through here. NBC and yeah. uh, uh, Scott County Rural. shoulder on it. I know. And Any kind of shoulder. And it, it before they before they repaved it, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't such a drop off. I mean, there still wasn't no shoulder. Right. At least when you dropped off, it wasn't that bad, but now you drop off. Oh, yeah. And we haul, we haul grain on this road all the time. Uh, you drop off with a loaded truck, that truck's probably going over. Oh, yeah. Well, day like today with the ground soft, yep. you get a tire off, it's going to suck you down. It's going to drag you, the whole thing in there. There's nothing you can do you're going to be sucked off in there and it's more than likely going to be on its side like yeah. you said that's like that road going out the buffalo even Island. if you had this where you had a flat gravel yeah you know that's that's better than having it drop off the edge right like it is up here it's real bad back there and that ground that ground's soft back there i mean it, it gets wet it stays wet it don't dry out hardly yeah all this flat land down here doesn't have anywhere to drain to no Turn left right up here by this sign. Okay. Just taking it kind of easy. Being as this road so yeah, it throws you around so much. You can definitely tell it's back there.
room to see you coming in, do they? No. If you're in the middle of that curve and then you're leaving out, you, you can't see anything. You think they cleared that uh, wood line? On. They worked on it a little bit, made it a little better, but it, yeah, that's still ain't. It's not nothing like it needs to be. This little culvert crossing up here is pretty rough when you go across the edge. Okay. Other than that, this road is pretty smooth. Thank you. I went across one last night. It was worse than H back there. So yeah. Z back across towards uh, between Kiwani yeah. and you know where I'm talking about. Yeah. yeah, boy, that thing's rough. How far down do we go? This is a big operation. Oh, okay. All right, Ben. Eyes. Yep. Guess you all are too far north to get any of the high winds and tornadoes. Yeah, we didn't get any damage. Uh, thank, thank God. I mean, they got several pivots got blown over down towards Charleston. Yep. I seen. Yeah, I saw that coming back yesterday. I was coming back from uh, Kiwani. I saw the pivots blown over out in the field. Yeah, they had quite a bit of damage there. We didn't get none. We was lucky. We've had them blow over before, but... Alright, where do I need to there's, turn? Uh, it, keep going. There's a there's a big open okay. gravel lot there that you can Not by this house, but no, up, up by the yeah. grain bins, okay. I didn't know if that was your wash bay that you were talking about, or... No, that's, uh... Uh, boss's dad is building a shop house there. He wants to, he's getting old and he wants to live closer to the family and all, all right. that. So, now the wash bay is going up on the back side of the grain bins. Okay. Here or the next one up? Right up here on the right. All right, just past the. Yep, just past that mailbox. Gotcha. There. And, and I don't know where a good place to drop it is, but. Well, I, is there anybody here or the gentleman behind us probably can tell us? where they want to go with it, maybe? Yeah, I mean, the shop's full. We got yeah, the seat tenders and stuff in there. That would be ideal, but I mean, we can work on it outside. I just pull it up here in between these shops. Okay, uh, up underneath the tree? No, just go no. on up further. We got a lot of space up there. If it warms up, we can work on it and see what the deal is with it. Closer to which side, right or left? Uh, probably the left side. Got me better. Like up by the header? Yeah, somewhere up in there would be okay. fine. All right. I don't know what we'll be pulling in and out of the shop. So. We got a 90 foot planter that we got to drag around in this mess, so I'm sure it's getting back out sometime. Probably a little bit wet to get out again, ain't it? Yeah, we got some work to do. We got to change some tires on it and whatnot. We're putting super singles on it so it floats a little better. And just pull it up here in front of them headers, it'll be fine. Okay. Yeah, you're you're a long way from needing the headers. Yeah, we don't need it for a while. <laughs> All right. Do that, man. I'll help. I'll help you out. It don't hurt my feelings none. Do a little bit. There's a trick to putting those back in. Don't worry about it. I'll get them. <laughs> and these I've got. Once you learn the trick to unhooking them, I can do them with one hand. <laughs> I'm gonna let you do it. <laughs> That's all right. Don't worry about it, man. I've done this for years, so. Yeah. There's what I needed. Just to shift it on that fork a little bit. Well, not quite enough. All right, I'll take the brake off of it. Uh, 
You want me to put the shaft back in it or just leave it out for now? We can put it in. Okay. Yeah. Probably just around a lot wouldn't hurt it, but with uh, automatic, you never know. I wouldn't want to risk it. Yeah. We'll be able to work on it here. Probably some $20 sensor or something stupid. It could very well be. <clears throat> yeah, get my hammer and knock those back in. Sometimes they'll push back in real easy, and other times they don't. Oh, I figured the shop was full. Figured the shop was full. Man, I just moved some stuff around. Boy. I still got it hooked up. I can back it in if you need me to. Yeah, I can. I can still move it. Yeah. Okay. We can move everything just back in right here. All right. That's all right. That's all right. Don't worry about it. Plans change. Roll with the punches. Boss wants it in the shop. We'll put it in the shop. <laughs> I have to do a little bit of rearranging on my uh, driving because that'll be blindsiding at the end, but we'll get it. stays with us. It should. This truck don't usually leak. Not too bad anyway. Alright. Well, all I got is those rear two undone anyway. Alright, let me take a look what he wants here. You want to just straight in like that? Yes, sir. Continue. Yes, sir. Not a problem. That way, just want to get the nose sitting out here. We should have room. Okay. All right, sir.
All right, I think I got her lined up now. Okay. Good enough. I can push it back some too with the wheel lift if we need to. Okay. Well, I, like I said, I'll get another three foot out of it anyway, pushing it out. Clear back there, yep. love these straps. They save my teeth, my chest, my arms. Oh, thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Ratchet.
Goats. Yeah, that one went. Back. All right, they went back in. gentlemen I didn't do my normal sign off I was talking with the customer and everything's cool there another happy satisfied customer thankfully uh, as always thank you for watching I'm headed back to the shop now see what's going on next and as always most importantly God bless thank you